In this video tutorial, we're going to go through how you can calculate averages and standard deviations using Microsoft Excel. The first thing you need to do is open up a spreadsheet containing the data you want to analyse. You can see in this particular example, I've got a spreadsheet containing some basic demographic data of a group of subjects. You can see that I've got my subjects laid out on the side here, and I've worked out their height, weight, VO2 max, and body fat scores. What I'd like to do at the bottom of each column is I'd like to work out their mean and standard deviations. So I've just added a couple of labels in here to keep it nice and neat, and then in these boxes underneath, I would like the answers to appear. So let's calculate an average. The first thing to do is to click in the box you'd like the average to appear, which is here at the bottom of the column. The next step when producing these is to click the equals button on the keyboard. By doing that, you'll see over on the top left hand side here a little menu appear. Click the down arrow and you have a selection of different functions you'd like to perform. In this case, we'd like to calculate an average. So we click on that and it brings up a pop up box. From there, you can see that Excel is now asking you to highlight the data that you would like to calculate the average of. It's really important at this stage that you click the little red arrow just at the end of the row here to take you back to the spreadsheet. You'll know you've done it right because when you do highlight the data you'll get this funny flashing line appear around the data area. That's a good thing. When you've selected the data you'd like you need to make your way back to the pop-up box. You can do that pressing enter or clicking the little red arrow to return. Once you go back to the pop-up box, if you're happy, you can then click OK and it will give you the answer. There you go. So the mean in this particular case was 1.74. Now the great thing about Excel is that when you perform one calculation you can ask it to do it again a number of times really really quickly. So in this particular case I'd also like to work out the means of the other columns as well. So I can copy and paste the equation really easily. So if I take my mouse cursor and I place it over the bottom right hand corner of the cell, you can see it changes to a black cross. If you left click and then you drag it across, you can see what it does is it actually copy and pastes the average formula but changes it so it includes each column. So I've now worked out the average weight, I've also worked out the average VO2 max and the average body fat score. Okay, so if I want to do standard deviation, it's exactly the same. I click in the box where I'd like the answer to appear, I push the equals button on my keyboard, and from the top left menu, I click the down button, and I select this time, standard deviation. Same process again, I need to select the column, so I click the little red arrow, and I highlight the data. Again, to make it really simple, push enter once, back to the pop-up box, enter again and there's my answer. Again I can just click and drag and now I've just calculated the mean and standard deviation for four columns of data.